Across the UK, the mating season brings out some pretty nifty dance moves. But it isn't just the larger animals who strut their stuff in search of love. Deep in the undergrowth, here on the Devon coast, there's a tiny creature with a dance to rival any animal in the country. The grasshopper. There are over 10,000 species worldwide, but their preference for warmer climates means that only 11 choose to call the UK their home. Crickets and grasshoppers are some of the most easily identified of all British insects. They've got incredibly strong back legs, able to jump over 20 times their own body length. And even if you're not actually able to see them, you'll certainly be able to hear them. Each species has its own unique set of buzzes, scrapes and chirps. They make their sounds by rubbing their legs against their wings, a technique called stridulation. Today I'm on the search for the Rufus grasshopper. Their song is the key to finding them, and there is no one better at recognising this serenade than insect expert John Walters. So John, top tips for looking for this rare specialised grasshopper? Well, it looks pretty similar to, you know, the sort of grasshoppers you'd find in your garden, but this one has some amazing little antennae, which you'll hopefully see in a minute. Um, it likes these sort of beautiful warm south-facing limestone grasslands with lots of little sun pockets in. With their distinctive call all around, we split up to try and find some. Most British grasshoppers pursue their mates purely with song, but the Rufus grasshopper also has an extraordinary dance routine that I'm hoping to see. We soon hit the jackpot, and one show cameraman Rod Clark sets up his specialist macro camera. There's a female with a male waiting in the wings, and we sneak in for a front row seat, hoping to watch the romance build. Well, these grasshoppers love living on these really steep south-facing banks like this because uh, it's a bit tricky to actually keep ourselves in position, we're almost sort of sliding down here. But these are real sun traps, particularly this time of year. And here's oh, the male. There we go. He's going for it, yeah. He's spotted the female and he tries to get sort of head on, really, so she can see those uh, lovely antennae and the pouts. So this is the first phase. He's trying to get her attention. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> right at his pouts a bit and he's spotted her. Now, will he do the display? <laughs> There he goes, straight head on there, oh. antennae down, and now starting the little clockwork motion with the I head. I love the way he just ticks his head from side to side. It's gorgeous. Here we go, a little waggle of the palps, and there we, there go. we go. Oh, then down with the antennae, flicks them down. And then a little bit of a song, chirping away there. He is working his magic. What a dance. <laughs> The male will repeat these dance moves over and over again. There we go. <laughs> I love it when they waggle those palps. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Despite his best efforts, it seems the male's dance moves are not quite enough to sweep this female off her feet. Well, I've watched these hundreds of times doing this display and I've never ever seen a male successfully caught a female. This is a good one because she's sitting there and letting him do a super display for us to watch. Look at that. 